friends! In today's video, I'm going to be doing a navigation try on haul and sizing guide because they are having a launch this Saturday, December the 14th at 10 a.m. EST, and I'm really excited. There's so many cute, adorable pieces. So set your alarms, mark your calendars because you don't want to miss out. Now, before I get into the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that I do have an athlete link in the description box below. I make a small commission from this, so it helps me, supports me if you use it. So thank you so much in advance if you do. It's also going to be in my Instagram bio on the day of the launch. Honestly, actually, I'm probably going to put it Friday night just so it's there. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so for reference, I am 5'3", about 128-ish pounds. My measurements, my waist is like, I don't know, 25, 24-ish. That's all I know. <laughs> but I wear extra small in everything except for the bras. And when I show you guys each piece, I'll go into detail about how some of the sizing is. Because there's some stuff that's like kind of borderline where like you could size up, but you, you don't have to. We'll get into that. Woohoo! Okay, so they're coming out with a lot of cute sets. Now the pieces are sold separately, so it's not like you have to buy the matching bra to those shorts. You have to, you have to. No, you can like do whatever you want. So these are the pro shorts. Now these are a little bit shorter than the biker shorts, but they're still like a nice length, like, you know, like you could wear them around your grandma. I say that because I'm going to Florida in January where my grandma lives and I was like, I'm bringing these shorts and I will not be like, hey grandma, here's my asshole. Now these shorts, they're, they're very similar to the seamless leggings, but they do not have any contours. So it's just a, a plain, plain butt, plain butt, so. They're also in electric blue, so pretty, and violet. So these ones don't have like matching sports bras. These are just like little standalone shorts, but they're so cute. So, so cute. And then if you want leggings to complete your khaki set, there's also the khaki seamless leggings that are restocking. So these are real cute as well. Real cute. I actually, I really, like, I, I'm a fan of bright colors, but I'm just loving, like, the, the uniform khaki look. Like, it's just, it's nice. It's cool. Woohoo. Yeah, the sizing for the shorts, I got an extra small. Most, most of the stuff is pretty true to size. So as you can see, like, they kind of dig into the legs a little bit. So it's like, if I wanted a looser fit on my legs, I could have also gotten a small. So just keep that in mind. I, although I was actually a little bit worried that they were going to be tight and like, they're tight, but not that I feel like a, a sausage because then the waist, that was my only concern. I was like, oh, if I size up the small, I don't know how the waist is because it's just perfect and extra small. So just keep that in mind that if you're, if you don't want it like tight on the legs, you might want to size up. Now for the bras, I sized up in this and I always do in navigation bras. So I got a small instead of an extra small, but they aren't quite as like compression-y as some of the previous bras. Last time they were tighter here, whereas these ones are looser. So I, I actually, I could have gotten an extra small, but I'm glad I got a small still because I hate when they're tight and it just like digs into your back. Like still size up unless you like stuff really, really tight. But I mean like, again, I don't really have boobs and I still like the size up. To recap, the shorts are pretty true to size. Size up if you don't want them too tight. And the bras most likely size up, but they're not super compression-y. So uh, keep that in mind. So the black speckled set, that's what this is right here. Real cute, real cute, real cute. So the leggings, the black speckled seamless leggings will be restocked. So if you would like that to go with your sports bra, you got it. Now there is going to be a matching long sleeve seamless top. 
I, I don't have, I actually don't have everything yet, but I do have a top here that is a navigation dark seamless top that I actually bought before I worked with the company. It's not the same, but I'm gonna put it on just to show you, kind of like give you an idea. Okay, so yeah, like it doesn't actually, this doesn't totally match. So if you look at Ashley's try on video, you can see how it's supposed to look. I feel like, like long sleeves with shorts, like that's like, it's sharp. It's a good sharp look. It's like, ba-bam, especially with this like dark color, like, ooh. Ugh. So not the exact same, but yeah, friggin' cute. I'm excited to get mine. And for the tops, they are true to size. So I would get an extra small. So whatever size you usually are for tops across the board, you'll be good to go. Oh, and I also didn't mention that the bra has like a little bit of padding. It can come out, it can come out too, but it's just like light, it's just like, light okay so now i have on the seamless forest green biker shorts so as you can see they're longer so it's funny because i i feel like these actually squeeze my legs more than the shorter pair which doesn't really make much sense <laughs> but with my other biker shorts sometimes i would even just kind of like hike them up a bit but these ones do have the booty contour the booty contour as you can see it contours the booty. For the biker shorts, the only other color they're restocking is the black speckled. That means you can either get the, the pro seamless short if you want a little bit less length. Oops. Or you can get the biker short length. Ba bam And again, these are also true to size. I guess the same thing would apply if you really don't want to squeeze the leggies, then you could um, size up. Oh, and you can throw in a nice little white OG tank over top. How cute. Speaking of the tanks, the, um, the white is being restocked and so is the black. These are also true to size, just like a nice, nice little crop. So the pastel pink leggings, these also have, they're coming in, they also have the option of a full set. So you can get the sports bra and the long sleeve seamless top. I don't have those yet. I just have the leggings and like the other sets, the pieces are sold separately. So you don't have to get them all. Even like these with the, the speckled, that's cute too. So many options, ah, adorable. I was getting ready to show you guys the mint set, but look, like again, mint black speckled sports bra, a nice combo. A pretty darn nice combo, if you ask me. Even the white top. Okay, let's let's look at the set though. Okay, so I'm wearing the mint set and then there's also the aqua set. Just a light contour under the butt. They, they don't have them on the leg though. So I am obsessed, <laughs> obsessed with these colors. Like mints and blues are just like my favorites, my favorites. I die every time. I see something come out that's like in this color, in this family of color. We definitely, we're gonna do a, a little squat proof test and cause that's always a, a thing people wanna know, especially cause these colors are so like light and bright. We gotta know, we gotta know, we gotta know. We gotta give the people the answers. Let's check the squat proof label. Squat proof, squat proof. How is it? How's my butt? How's my butt? So I asked some questions on Instagram. So before I go over some of the other pieces, I'll just answer the questions related to leggings. <sighs> the hair in my mouth. Okay, so somebody asked if they were sweat proof. I found that the seamless leggings across the board are very, they're very sweat proof. Obviously, if you're like sweating buckets, like absolutely drenched, it's gonna start to show a little but not much at all because I know a couple weeks ago I wore like kind of like a, I don't know, this weird fabric of underwear that kind of like makes you sweat more. So when I went to the bathroom that I could see that there was like so much sweat and it like kind of looked like I peed myself. But when I put the leggings on, you couldn't really see it. So they're pretty darn sweat proof. Like obviously it's, it's still gonna kind of show, but I was impressed that I didn't look like I peed myself. Now we're gonna look at the joggers. I, oh, so I honestly, these are one of my favorite things because this freaking color of red. Um, I'm not always the smartest with matching, but I kind of feel like it's kind of cute with the mint. It's kind of like, kind of festive almost, kind of festive. But okay, we'll go over stuff. I'm just gonna change 
my top. Okay, so ruby red, ruby red joggers with the black speckled bra or with the white tank. Ba, 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 ba. These are also restocking, ooh, my hair's getting messy. Um, they're restocking in the jet black and silver mist. So the sizing for the joggers, there again, they're fairly true to size. I get an extra small. As you can see, they're not like loose joggers though. So if you want a looser fit, you can size up. Someone asked if they were stretchy, like obviously they're not like seamless legging stretchy, but they're still like, like stretchy. And then there's the nice waistband, nice uh, little rope. And they're like a light fabric. It's obviously not like a super thick thick fabric. But yeah, this red, it's like a beautiful, like it's kind of like a, a cherry. It's just a nice red. Like when I saw the picture of these, I was like, <gasps> so yeah, these are my, one of my favorites. And yeah, sizing is pretty true to size, but size up if you want a loose fitted jogger. So I don't have them with me here yet, but for the signature legging, they're coming out with a black and a burgundy. They're, so this is not the same as the seamless. They're not contoured or anything like that. If you want an idea of the fabric and just what they're like, they're similar to Lululemon Align leggings. And I don't know for sure, but I feel like they'll be pretty true to size. So somebody else asked, which leggings are best for accentuating the booty? Definitely any of them that have the, the booty contour. Honestly, just seamless leggings in general, I feel like make your butt kind of pop, but especially when the contour is there, it's like, ba bam, there's a difference for sure. So I've had some people ask what they should do if they are between sizes. So before I answer that question, I'm just going to read another question that just kind of ties in. So it might help, help you decide. So this one girl, she's usually between a small and medium in leggings. She doesn't know if she should size up or down. And then I had another lovely gal say that she wears a medium but the waist has like the waist has a bit of a gap like they've, they're big and she said would a small be tighter so yes for sure so i guess that if you're somebody who like say if your butt and your legs are bigger in in comparison to your waist like if you have like i guess more of like an hour shut out the the hourglass type shape or just if you're someone who finds that the waists can get baggier then if you're in between, I guess you it would, might be a good idea to size down just so the waist isn't getting all loose. Um, now, if you're somebody who is super, super concerned about things being squat proof and you're between sizes, then you might wanna go with the bigger size because usually it's when things are super, super tight that they're not squat proof. I mean, if I wear like a dark pair of underwear with a light pair of pants, like if I'm wearing black underwear with the mint leggings, that's probably gonna show. But other than that, I haven't had issues and they're, they're fairly snug. So that's the best advice I can give on sizing up or down. If you have like a smaller waist, maybe do sizing down if you're in between. And then if you really wanna make sure that it's squat proof, then maybe choose the larger size. Okay, and then somebody else asked, she said that she ordered the leggings last time and has really bad camel toe with them and she asked if she should size down. So maybe, maybe. <laughs> Honestly, it could even depend on how like you're wearing them. It's always weird to do, but I find like, if I kind of just uh bunch them around, like just kind of like, bunch them up a little bit. I find it just like, I don't know, helps. Like sometimes when I first put them on, it'll be like a horrific camel toe and then I'll just like adjust, 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 and then I'm good. Also, tip, um, if you put like a, like a, just a little thong panty liner on, if you wear one, it kind of helps hide camel toe. So that might help as well. Yeah, that's the best advice I have. A smaller size could help just because I guess if it's baggy, it might just be kind of like meh. So yeah. Okay, and the last item that I don't have here is the is the raw cut hoodies. So the black is being restocked and then there's also a beautiful baby blue and an ash gray. Those were true to size as well. They're just like a nice little crop. I wore an extra small in mine. I have a white one and yeah. So I think I've covered everything, hopefully. <laughs> 
make sure you set your alarms and get in right at 10 a.m. EST because even if there's more stock, things can still go quickly. I think last time I had people saying they went much later in the day and some of the stuff was gone. So yeah, make sure you're, you're there, you're on time ready to go. My link, again, it's in the description box below. Thank you so much if you use it. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!